Hello there, Internet. Uh, I'm Josue, and this is another Satisfactory video. Uh, so, after my last couple of videos, uh, a number of commenters asked about curved ramps. And um, there are some great videos out there uh, in the community about building curved ramps and how to do so. And uh, certainly the approaches for those types of builds, those designs, could be built as blueprints to make your life easier. Um, I think uh, MSG or MGS, I forget who, I forget exactly what his name is, but uh, there's a, a British guy who has put out a video about gorgeous uh, curved roads uh, that ramp up. Um, and that technique uh, uses a very gentle one meter incline uh, with a five degree turn and uses the frame foundations to elevate the height to deal with the, the issue um, that you get when you try to build these things. Um, specifically that the uh, inside uh, part of the curve is elevated um, over um, your starting point and it, it starts to become both ugly and uh, non-functional at, at a certain point. Um, with the limitation of that design, although it is gorgeous and works perfectly, is that you have to have these very gentle curves uh, and inclines. So you end up having to build very big uh, circles that go up kind of slowly. And I was wondering if there was a way to use the, uh, the new Blueprint Designer from Update 7 to build something with a little bit of a different functionality. And uh, so what you're seeing on screen is kind of uh, two approaches that I've come up with. And um, these are functional, um, and they ascend much more quickly, um, and they, they have a much uh, smaller square footage um, uh, uh, footprint. So these curve 10 degrees to the left and go up uh, two, by two meter ramps. So if we look over here, we can see that these are the two meter ramps. Um, and uh, the curve is much sharper. So walking up this build, you can see that we gain a lot of elevation quickly and it doesn't have to be as, you know, as wide um, of a curve because I'm able to go by 10 degrees instead of five. Two, two clicks for a given rotation instead of one. Uh, this version of the build uh, is done with painted beams and this was my first attempt. Um, and again, it is functional. Um, the Explorer goes up real quick, but even the big truck can get up kind of slowly. Um, the second version of the build uh, replaces the beams with uh, the pillars for a different look. Um, so this version uh, is the same kind of height and uh, curvature. Uh, but I think it looks a little bit better with the pillars than with the painted beams. Um, so I'll, I'll show you how to build these and I'll go over the design process in a second. Um, but real quick, let's just do the, uh, let's just do the vehicle test. So here is what it looks like driving the Explorer. Let's put some gas in. We can get up here pretty quickly. We can get up to about 55 kilometers per hour, something like that. We can easily get to the top. And uh, the same will work for uh, the big truck as well, although it's a little bit slower. So let's say you're over at that enormous cliff in the grasslands and you want to get a truck up. Um, rather than building, you know, eight loops in a huge wide circle uh, with the, uh, the, the, the aforementioned method, you can build one of these and get up kind of much quicker. Um, let's go ahead and demo that. So we'll get the truck out and put some gas in. And this chonker, like I said, it's a little slower, but you can make it. Um, so if you want a curved ramp for your trucks to be able to get up, um, and I don't know, building the pathing might be finicky, but once you get it set up, the truck should be able to make it up these, these ramps. So you can see it can only get up to about 25 kilometers per hour. 
um, but it can make the ascent. And so very quickly, I've gotten this truck, you know, pretty high up off the ground from where we started. Uh, so if we go over here, I've got a little gallery that kind of demonstrates the problem in my approach to the design. Um, so over here, we have the basic illustration of the problem, right? If I'm using two meter ramps and I'm curving into the left by 10 degrees, you get this ugly kind of clipping and it's, it's also blocks you from moving up. So along the outside of the curve, you can ascend pretty well. Um, but on the inside, it'll block you from walking and it'll block vehicles. Um, now, in engineering, the problem is often part of the solution. And I got to thinking, well, I want, I want some way uh, to build along this line, right? Um, th this line is the problem, right? So the elevation change between the left side of this beam and the right side of the beam, that's the problem. Maybe it's also the solution. So I, st I slapped this beam down along this angle, and I got rid of the, the top two. And then I was able to draw, I was able to use uh, the steel beams here to draw a number of uh, pieces of geometry in these different lengths and different angle segments. So uh, on the right here, this beam is much shorter and the angle is much uh, higher because, well, it's a little bit higher, um, because it's at the inside of, of the curve. And then on the outside, we have a longer beam with a somewhat gentler angle um, but when you kind of string these together, um, you end up with a walkable platform and a drivable platform of these painted metal beams. And uh, this is obviously way too time consuming and finicky to replicate over a large structure like that. But because of the blueprint designer, um, if we set things up right, we can, we can build these in sections that kind of clip into each other. And what you end up getting is what I showed over here. Um, so if we look a little more closely at the painted beam intersection, or one of these clips into the other. So right along this line here, you can see this is where the right side clips in, and it's not exact, uh, unfortunately. And then the left side, um, again, because the pieces are shorter and the angle is higher and, and almost a little bit more to the left, that clips here into you can see the clipping on the on the inside of the curve is much shorter, right? So like there's a clip there and a clip there. Um, and it's longer on the right side. It's almost the full length of the of the blueprint segment. Uh, so I wanted to show this off because it is functional and some people might be able to use it. I'm not super happy with, with the aesthetic, um, but I do know that there are a lot of people in the community uh, who have a lot more experience um, in the game and know a lot more tips and tricks. So I'm putting this out there in the hopes that someone can take the basic idea, the tech, uh, and maybe refine it and make it look even better. Um, this is this one is kind of okay to me. Um, you know, you've got you've got the concrete connection, and then you could have you know at the bottom of the ramp a clean join uh, to your asphalt. Um, and this one is two meet two foundations wide, so it's really only a one directional kind of thing. Um, I believe you could probably build three, uh, three wide, maybe. Um, certainly with a curve that isn't as tight, um, so you could still get the elevation with the with the like a five degree curve. Um, it would it would take up more a more a larger footprint uh, in terms of square footage on the ground. It'd be a, it'd be a, it'd be a wider curve. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to put these out there, see if anybody could figure out a way to improve it, or if anybody wants to use it as is, that's fine. I'll be uploading the, uh, the blueprints. And real quick, let me just show you how you build one of these. So let's go over to, um, let's get some space. Uh, let's see, this looks like a pretty good starting point for another curve. So I'll bring out what I have as a seed here. Um, I think we'll do the pillar. That's this one, uh, pillar curved. Which way do we want to go? All right, so let's build like that. And then we'll just uh, put down some ramps in front. Come on. Uh, 
Um, and if you come over to the back here, the, uh, the building guide is part of the blueprint. Uh, so unlike previous episodes, um, you won't have to be building these. Uh, all you'll need to build is something to stand on uh, to be able to do this snap-in. Uh, but so we've got the, the seed set up, and now we just um, start placing... Let me bind this to a hotkey. Um, start placing segments. I'll put this on 8. And uh, to snap it in, you just want to see the beam connector there. You want that beam connector to... Uh, you want the, the bottom of the, the guide rail on the close side to just align with the beam connector. So you go 1... And two. And let's get three. There we go. And let's do four. And five. Like so. And then you just come down here when you're done setting everything up and get rid of these. And uh, if we come back over to the front, we've got the start of another one of these curved ramps. So this is gonna. This is only four sections. Obviously, I built more over there, but it's 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 pretty easy. I mean, you can see, I, I could build what I have over there in about a minute and a half flat. Um, really, there's more time spent like putting together these like positioning platforms so you can uh, actually make the connections than than actually building the ramp itself. Uh, so anyway, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, is this something you would use? Can you think of ways to improve it? Um, and uh, you can get the blueprints. I'll be uploading them to a Satisfactory Calculator. So they'll be there and you can try it out in your own world. Thanks. Bye.